Hi, I'm Wazi Ula with Computer Internet Services. We have a laptop here, Fujitsu, which is about to change CMOS battery. This Fujitsu, especially uh, the model number is Amilo M1425. You can see right here. First of all, you always want to take the battery off, which is basically a lot of them, and then universally, some type of latch, you can remove the battery for safety purpose, anyhow. And then in the back, there is always some type of uh, back panel for getting into the memory upgrade or CMOS battery chains. In this case, we have a panel right here. You'll take out, there's about six or seven screws. Uh, once you take the screws out, and you can take that flathead screwdriver, and you can pop this cover off. In this case, uh, I will use a flathead screwdriver to take the cover off. And once I take this cover off, then locate the CMOS battery. And CMOS battery could come either round, or it could be also come in with a battery with a little connection to it, uh, which is goes to the motherboard. In this case, we have located a CMOS battery right in this here, uh, in the corner, and we're taking a again a flathead screwdriver to pop up that CMOS battery. In this case, right here, we're about to pop this CMOS battery right here. Then, of course, you always want to look for the number. It has a number like 2022, uh, uh, 2026, 2032, whatever the number is, try to match the number. So we're tired of matching in the number from the battery. In this case, we are going to use this, you know, Duracell or Energizer, whatever brand you choose. Pick the battery, take the battery, and then replace it again. Remember, there's a positive, negative side. So as you take it out and the bottom part, which is this case is a negative and the top is positive the way it was. So we're about to put this new battery and once you put the new battery, push it in and feel it that is set, sitting there properly. Once sitting there properly, go ahead, put that back and then of course you need to go ahead and replace that cover back the way it was put it back the screws uh, and here's I'm about to put a few screws and making sure that I have date and time correct so here you go and then of course uh, after you put the screw back in there you should be able to go ahead put the battery back in and then turn it on I'm about to put the battery back on here, turn it on, close it, here you go, and about to turn it on this laptop, of course, since we changed date and time, uh, is all messed up, so we go first thing, as we boot from the window, or whatever operating system you have, in this case BIOS, it says F2 to run setup, so we're about to run F2 to set up and date and time automatically came so time is right now is 1 and then tap over or arrow mark read the instruction it will tell you how to go to the next fill tab uh, or enter to the go to the next field which is what we did and it's 5 second and then go back down or hit enter and of course uh, tab over to go down month is again today is April 14 uh, 14 2012 right here so you got your date and time once you have it and F10 to save it we save and boom there you go so here you are. Thank you for visiting ComputerInternetServices.com. Also check it out, LEDI3.com for new LED technology, the new innovative LED light bulb that you can change for house or offices, warehouse, building, whatever you are, to get up to 80% up to savings for LED technology. Thank you. Have a nice day.